A friend of Prince Andrew could be crucial in the civil U.S. lawsuit with rape accuser Virginia Dufry. Neurosurgeon Dr. Melanie Walker was introduced to the Duke of York by his paedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein. People who worked for Epstein say she knows more than most about the two men's friendship. The 50-year-old doctor enjoyed a close relationship with the Queen's second son and was a guest at his 48th birthday party at Windsor Castle in 2000 along with Epstein and disgraced socialite Ghislaine Maxwell. Dr. Walker declined to comment when asked by the Mirror if she would be supporting Andrew, 61, in his lawsuit, or give evidence on his behalf. A former worker at Epstein's Zorro Ranch, who has not been named, told the Mirror, Melanie was incredibly charming, lovely and captivating, one of the most intelligent figures I ever met in Jeffrey's world. After she was introduced to Andrew, they just seemed to click. She knew him better than anyone in that circle. He added that the two spent a lot of time together and were even inseparable with other staff telling him they had grown very close. He said, she could not be more opposite to Virginia. Although they were both integral to Jeffrey, I never saw them meet. Unless something went wrong between, the Duke and Dr. Walker, I suspect she would be very supportive of Andrew. He speculated that her evidence could only be to the Prince's advantage and claimed that she would know more than most about how close Andrew was to Epstein. Dr. Walker is a professor of neurological surgery at the University of Washington School of Medicine. In the past, she has praised the Duke. In an interview in 2003, she said they were friends who talked mostly about science and medicine, keeping in touch via email. It is not known if Dr. Walker has been approached by Andrew's legal team to give a statement. It is believed that Ms. Jufri's lawyers have no intention of subpoenaing the medic. There is no suggestion Dr. Walker knew or was present when Epstein and Maxwell are accused of abusing girls or knew anything about the allegations surrounding Andrew. Former Zorro housekeeper, Deirdre Stratton, claimed Andrew was given Dr. Walker to keep him company for three days when he stayed at the ranch in 1999 or 2000 when Epstein was not there. She told the Mirror the Duke, who was then 39 or 40, was put up in a self-contained three-bedroom guest property on the estate. Ms. Stratton said, at the time, Jeffrey had this, she supposedly was a neurosurgeon, quite young, beautiful, brilliant, and she stayed in the home with him. She added that she saw no sexual activity between Andrew and Dr. Walker, who was then 28. A former personal protection officer of the Prince said the pair were alone during much of their stay at Zorro, with only occasional contact with staff. The bodyguard said Epstein and Maxwell joined them for at least one night, but they were the only visitors. The officer was adamant it was the only time the Duke ever visited Zorro. However, this appears to contradict court claims by Ms. Jufri that she was once flown there alone to spend time with Andrew. Prince Andrew denies the allegation. The bodyguard told the Mirror he is sure the Prince never saw or met Ms. Jufri during his time in the Duke's service. Ms. Jufri, also known as Virginia Roberts, is suing Andrew for damages in her home country of the US, claiming she was trafficked by Epstein to have sex with the royal when she was 17, a minor under US law. Andrew is alleged to have sexually abused Ms. Jufri at Maxwell's London home, during a visit to Epstein's private island, Little St. James, and on a separate occasion at the financier's Manhattan mansion. The Duke strenuously denies all the allegations.